Hey, this is Superdell. Okay, before this next clip, I want to stress this has nothing to do with the sport. People who get flat tops and dominators and super training, this has nothing to do with you. It's like very frustrating when horrible gear trashes the image of the sport and the people that are promoting it. They know of these catastrophic issues, but it totally trashes the image of the sport. People see it and they're like, oh, I don't want to do that. That's stupid. When it has nothing to do with people out there flying flat tops, dominators who get super trained and do it the right way. There's right ways to do it. And then there's just horrible gear that's literally just fake copies of the old Sky Cruiser from the 1980s. And there's tons of them. There's Adventure, Gravity, Defiant, Limitless, Parajet, Scout, Blackhawk, Fly Products, Nirvana, Kangoo, Fresh Breeze, Mini Plane. They're all exactly the same. Look at how flimsy their nettings and cages are. That's just one issue, people going into the prop. So watch the video. But keep in mind, this has nothing to do with the real sport where people get flat top paramotors that are designed to address every single known issue in the history of this sport. You just don't have these catastrophic issues like this. It, nobody's ever gone through the netting of the flat top. So watch this clip and then we'll continue. Cut my finger off. Are you okay? Cut my finger off. Almost cut both of them off. Okay. Do you know where it is? Okay, remember how I just did the Parajet review and I showed clear as can be this catastrophic issue and you still see them bash and trash. Oh, the netting wasn't tight enough. Oh, this was the problem. Oh, the netting wasn't factory, blah, blah, blah. The cage flexes right into the prop. It wouldn't matter if the netting was made of Kevlar, magic Kevlar. The whole cages will flex right into the prop. These units are super flimsy. Another guy was just shredded in a scout. Yet another guy broke his back on a scout. Four more people died on horrible gear. It's just, this has nothing to do with the real sport. If you simply get a flat top and a dominator and super training, we've basically addressed all these issues. The unit is the absolute best and safest design out there on top of being six pounds lighter than a scout near 20 pounds lighter than some fly products and up to 14 pounds lighter than the typical fresh breeze it's lighter and safer even the super flimsy units are within only two pounds of the flat top so you've got the highest level of safety in the flat top with the most durable and strongest cage you're not just trashing gear left and right but this is just ridiculous the, I've been talking about these same issues for over 20 years and they just keep trashing and bashing and lying and pushing the same garbage. And then they pretend, I bash other products. This isn't bashing. Chopping your finger off is getting bashed with a prop. That's bashing when the prop hits your finger, that's getting bashed. But saying the prop hits your finger, that's not bashing. That's the simple fact, straight up truth. And any honest, moral, decent human being on the planet would share to others to try and prevent it from happening to them. Seriously, imagine someone that puts a woman on one of these units and pretends to train them and the person is trusting them for instruction and you go out and train with some total scammer that puts you on a parajet and the woman trips and falls down, chops the tips of her fingers off. I can link that video as well. It's happened over and over and over. Then you hear him say, oh yeah, I know. Oh, the only stupid people get shredded in their prop. That was said by Andy McGavin, pushing more total garbage. He said, you don't need a flat top because only idiots get shredded. In Whap! He shredded himself in the prop. Yeah. And then, yeah, Britton Shaw said the same thing. Whap! He got shredded in the prop. And then another fake instructor. 
over and over and over. The fake instructors, look at their hands. Kyle O, shredded in the prop. But does do they fix the problem? Do they go, yeah, okay, I admit, yeah, that was really stupid, that gear is garbage, let's just sell the proper gear and proper training. I mean, seriously, how hard is it for the fake instructors to just get proper training, learn how to do it properly, and then teach proper skills? Is that like rocket science? And they can sell the best and safest gear just as easily as they can sell the total crap gear. What's the difference? It's like people are so arrogant and cocky and dishonest and just freaking evil. They would rather shred people and get killed themselves than actually admit the truth is the truth. It's insane. It's a very strange thing, but it's been going on thousands of years. Why do you think they killed the prophets? Yeah, the prophets say, hey guys, you know, you really should repent before the whole city gets destroyed. Instead of going, oh yeah, that makes sense. What'd they do? No, they stoned the prophets. Now, are you the guy that stands up for the guy who tells the truth and goes, you know what? He's probably telling the truth. Are you that guy? Are you the guy that just jumps in line and picks up a stone? Which one are you? Because these things are not bashing, trashing lies. These are facts. This is the blatant flax. Literally three people drowned in a single month on gear like this. There is no quick release harness. You cannot get out of this harness to save your life. And it happens over and over and over. Getting shredded in the prop is only one problem. Brake toggles go in the prop. It wraps the brake toggle up into the reduction, locks you into a face down spiral. Whap, dead. Happens over and over and over. And then you hear him go, oh, well, you, you should only start it on the ground. If you're so scared of a unit being so unsafe that you don't dare start it anywhere, <laughs> it's like, if it's so horrible you don't want to even start it on the ground, why would you put it on your back? But it's a lie to try and distract people away from the fact that people are getting shredded with it on their back over and over and over. No, it's not about starting it on the ground or not starting that has nothing to do with anything it's total ignorance the solution is to get a freaking paramotor that doesn't do that that's designed to prevent that problem from happening ever 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 okay no unit's perfect yes you can die on the best and safest gear just like you could die in a mercedes but is a mercedes safer than a motorcycle yes hello though it's it's simple fact. There's absolutely no reason and no excuse. It is inexcusable for people out there to pretend to be instructors, holding themselves up as the expert that you should trust your life to, and then they defraud you in every possible way and totally screw you over. It's seriously heinously messed up and yeah they need to repent big time you don't have it to be a rocket science to know that now you know in america if you defraud someone in ways that lead to their death it's you know legally it might be called manslaughter but to god it's murder so stop lying and defrauding people into horribly deadly gear. You got people like Tucker Gott out there literally promoting this gear, even though these exact same issues have been happening for over 20 years. And you have people pushing the exact same gear. People get shredded in the prop, they just ignore it, sweep it under the rug. Oh, bash Dell some more, tell some more lies about me, pretend I bash and trash, and it's me actually bashing everyone else when all I'm doing is trying to make you aware of the facts to save your life. It's actually a commandment to warn thy neighbor of pitfalls that lay before them. Yeah, and here's another one for you, and the lukewarm shall be spewed forth from my mouth. So yeah, if you just are the, oh, I don't want to ruffle any feathers, I don't want to bother anybody, if you're the guy that doesn't stand up, you're not doing it right. The cool people are the ones that stand up and tell the truth boldly because it's the truth and it needs to be told. Stop shredding people in props. Get yourself a flat top, do the sport right, it's the coolest thing you will ever do. It's absolutely incredible. You can fly anywhere, do anything, and just have a total blast with incredible safety. No, it's not perfect. You can still die in the entire history of the sport. Only one person's ever died on the safer gear. So the safety is pretty ridiculous. But yeah, you can die doing anything. 
But that's no excuse for selling gear that is straight up, absolutely, inexcusably, horribly unsafe. Not cool. Be a man. Tell the truth. Share it with your friends. And stop freaking letting this happen to people. Hello? I mean, is it really rocket science to just have some integrity and be honest and try and help people not get shredded in the pop? I mean, seriously, listen to the lady. Uh, where is your finger? Can I help you find it? Sounds like she's used to people that fly Parajet and Kangook and Sky and other stuff like Black Hawk. It happens so much, it's like she's constantly hunting for people's fingers. You can hear the ladies not even the bit slightly, you know, oh yeah, and of course people chop their fingers off on that garbage. Kind of messed up. Seriously messed up. If you're so used to it, it's like a not a big deal. There's something seriously wrong. So share this with people, spread it around message this, link this video to everyone and say, look, this is it. For two reasons. For one, you know they're too stupid to listen and they're just gonna go blah, 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 that guy just blah, 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 and they're gonna ignore you. But then when it happens to them, you're covered. At least you did the moral thing and you tried to warn them. If you warn them, at least, especially warn them many times and they still ignore you, and then they get shredded, well, you did your moral obligation of warning them of pitfalls that lay before them. If they get screwed after that, that's their, that's their agency to choose stupidity. But for the good people out there that are watching this, the people who have honor and integrity, share the video, warn people. If you see someone flying any paramotor but a flat top, warn them, point out the issues. No crumple zone, no protection from the prop, no quick release harness to save you, no face plant protection. Go through the video series of the 304 reasons competent pilots only fly flat tops. Learn about the issues in the sport and the hundreds of ways that a flat top was designed to prevent these issues while being the lightest possible unit you could possibly get and easiest to launch. Actually, so easy, my children and other children fly it. Heck, my son set the world record flying a flat top paramotor at age 10. So it's light enough for a 10 year old. There's no excuse that an adult can't fly the best and safest gear. So no matter what lie they make up and try and pretend that it's a struggle and difficult and this and that and other excuse, yeah, just show them the video of my 10 year old doing it and go, yeah, whatever. Anyway. The sport's awesome. This total garbage has nothing to do with the real sport. Let's do it right, get the right gear, share it with your friends, be honest, care about other people's lives, care about telling the truth. Makes the days better, makes your future better. It's the way it is.